Hi, welcome back to Imperial. My name is Renee. I'm here with Jim. Jim, can you tell us about this truck? Yep, this is Richard Snyder's truck from uh, Indiana. Richard has done a lot of business with us through the years. This is the second one that we've cloned. This last one two years ago was identical to this. So oh. we've got a 4,000 gallon aluminum tank. This aluminum tank is painted with chip guard, vinyl graphics, 4310 blower, NDE 4310 blower. We've got these great big toolboxes on here. So it's an aluminum box with stainless steel doors. He's got another feature in here. He's installing a pump system on here of which I'm not sure We've got this insulated with that, uh, this is a foam back insulation. And I've got a red dot heater in there with a hose rail. Let me close this puppy back up. A lot of extra bling on here, stainless steel uh, caps on here, chip guard. My phone doesn't go with it. <laughs> He's got some extra strobe lights up here. That's kind of a nice feature. All lights are LED, all lights. Nice stainless steel bumper. That's always an option. That's identical to our carbon steel bumper. I mean, with that said, we do a lot of different variations, but that, that's a, a standard design in carbon steel or stainless steel. Stainless steel heated jackets. I apologize if I said 4,000, this is a 42. And here again, too, he's got more custom cabinets. They're These all are huge. Yep, yep, they're big cabinets. They're aluminum with stainless steel doors, low maintenance. Once again, the same thing. I've got coolant lines in here. This is insulated with a red dot heater. This one here too is also a little unique. He's got some kind of sewer rotting machine. So this here toolbox was built that it actually ex extends underneath the truck frame. So his equipment will fit in there. This is the second one I've done for him this way. And we've got a stainless steel fresh water tank that's pressurized off the truck's air. That obviously doesn't require any wash down pump, 12 volt, anything that uh, burns out or freezes. All water pumps freeze, you know, this, this will not. We see a greater demand for more and more water on many of these rigs, room permitting. This is a nice feature though. We build that in house here. He's got flange and dish domed heads on there because we do pressurize it off the trucks there and it's stainless steel so we don't have that rust and corrosion problem. Actually, we see quite a few of these going through this system. We, we've been building that for quite a few years, so. Okay. When it comes to water, there's a lot of options, a lot of variations, poly water tanks. There's other stainless steel water tanks that we also manufacture that are not pressurized. This one is, though. It's heavy, it's 3 sixteenths to handle the pressure. That about wraps it up. It's a beautiful unit, though. And he's got a digital sea level indicator. Uh, Richard's got this loaded. Uh, it's a working unit. We also offer in-house graphics. As you can see on this tank here, they did a really good job. If you're looking at ordering a truck through us or would like to look at what we have in stock, visit our website, www.septictruckcenter.com or give our sales team a call at 800-558-2945. Or you can always call Jim direct on my cell phone, 715-574-0229. We do have a whole team, but call Jim. Ha, ha, ha.